Greetings. Uh, been a long time, I know, I know. But today, we're going to do something, and I'm going to call it Will It Knife. We're going to take this cheap $3 uh, pry bar that I got from Wally World, and we're going to forge it out, see if it'll make a knife, because I've been reading on a lot of uh, uh, forums online that using... Uh, mystery steel it's the worst thing in the world and a travesty to humankind well I don't know about all that so I'm gonna test it I used to use only recycled materials and uh, the knives were okay I can't tell you they were great because I just don't know if they're great because every time I did it the results varied because you don't know what steel that is this is, it might be 1045, it might be 1036, could be 5160, I have no idea. But I'm going to give it a shot, and the first thing I'm going to do is test it with a file, see if the file bites into it. If it bites into it really hard now, then I don't know, I want to probably quench it in water when I'm done. But anyway, here we go. We're going to cut this up, I'm just going to cut off this part here, I won't need that, and cut off these little tines on the end. Won't need those, throw them in the forge and get right to work. Let's see what happens. Nothing like chickens. We want a perfect good day. All right, before I fire up the forge, just see how hard this is. This is an old, worn-out file. So we're going to take it and see what happens. Cuts it like, well, it cuts it like it's been annealed. So, uh, not looking like it's going to be a likely decent knife, but you know what? We're going to go for it anyway to see what happens. Water's cheap to come by, so I could... Probably almost hardened it. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna, first, we're going to straighten out the bends. Start by getting the point kind of rounded up, up up here. This is where the point will be. What I want is uh, make this kind of almost like a half circle. So you get you get the idea. We're just gonna round this all the way around, and I'll be back when it's done.
that'll be good enough. All I'm going to do is just lower one end to start establishing a tip. My idea is to make a, well I don't really have much of an idea, but I kind of want to make a clip point. Just going to hammer this end down. It's going to be a lengthy process. I just don't, I'm not getting quite the heat I want today. getting there see how that's coming down I want to bring it down so it's almost level with the bottom and then we're gonna draw this out so it's all the same thickness taper it down just a slightly as it gets to the point and that should make a nice clip point by the time I'm done That's almost about how I want it to look. We're going to bring it down a little bit more pointy. See if I can hammer it thinner. Which I can. It's just going to take a bit. If it came easy, everyone would do it, right? Here we go. Use a bigger hammer. There we go. That's about how I want it to be right now. And then we're just gonna see how thick it is right here. We want it to be thinner than the spine. We want it to taper down. It's called a distal taper. We want to start working on that now so we don't have to worry about grinding it later. All right, I used a larger hammer because of the larger surface area, it hides the hammer blows better. You see it, we're starting to get a little hook to it. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. See how it's coming down th up this way? That's going to be just fine because once it gets all to the same thickness as this or a little bit thinner, I'm going to start hammering the bevel on here and that'll raise it up a bit. Alright, we're getting close. I pull the steel down so I had the same strike right down so I don't have to move the hammer. If I move the hammer I have a, I could hit it at an angle and give it a nice nasty little divot. We're trying to avoid those as much as possible. We go almost there now. There we go, it's getting there. Yeah, probably one more heat and we'll have it thin enough to work on the, uh, the actual bevels. There we go, let's finish her up.
Yeah, it's starting to look really nice. Now, there. Make sure it's nice and even. It's almost a little even. A little bit of planishing here. There we go. There. See, that's what we're going to end up doing. Now we're going to take this thick part, thick part, and we're going to make it thinner than back than this even. And so this will bring all this tip right back up. Hopefully, we end up with a nice little clip. All right. First things first, we got to make sure all this is the same thickness. So we're going to try and flatten it as much as we can. See how it's thick right there? We're going to try and get that thinned out just a little bit more so it's all roughly the same width all the way down. And then we'll start doing the blade or the, the bevels for the edge. There we go. Not so shabby. too bad. Now all we have to do is start the bevel and then hopefully this will rise up and if it doesn't I'll just have to tap on the spine a little bit with the small hammer and we'll get her uh, clipped. It'll work one way or another. All right, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, Yeah, I do try to do even hits on both sides so that way the uh, center stays relatively, you know, in the right spot. Right about this point is where most people get discouraged, I find. Don't get discouraged because this is just how steel works. It's just like moving Play-Doh. There's going to be a kind of a thick blade. But it's coming along nicely. Once this gets thinned down to this part, this tip will be back up back up like an inch or a half inch up higher and if it's still rounded I can just use the grinder then to put a point on it. It's no big deal. There's nothing I can't fix 
especially on a knife that I'm just experimenting with anyway. I'm not worried about it. It's just the way it goes. It's coming, it's coming. Now all we have to do is the last inch or so. And like I said, worst case scenario, I end up using a grinder or having to force the shape where I want it. All right, let's see what happens. fix that tip just a little bit but you know what it's not gonna be anything too bad I use the, I'll get the little hammer out and we'll be ready to rock and roll here's what we're gonna do we're gonna end up using this nice horn to bring this up a little bit Almost there. Shouldn't take too much longer. We're getting there really close, really close. Almost a clip now. We're almost there. There we go. Alright, what we need to do now is Smooth it all out. I'm just going to use this hammer, just going to light taps up and down as straight as I can, all the way down the blade. See if I can get rid of all the hammer marks. I'm not I'm never going to be able to get rid of all of them, but hopefully some of them. There we go. The idea is I'm not moving metal at this point. All I'm doing is trying to flatten it out. All the little peaks and valleys. We're getting there. We're getting there. so shabby at all. Now I'm just going to do the other side after it heats up. And that should be it for the blade.
there, not too shabby. What I'm going to do is next heat, I'll straighten it and we'll make sure everything's ready to rock and roll. And then I'll make a plan for uh, the handle. See how it's a banana? What we're going to do is just gentle taps. Pretty straight. I'm not, I'm not awful worried about straightness yet because I'm not hardening it. We're at that point yet. But right here, that little divot there is where I wanted the blade to start, so I have to thin that down a bit to make it match the rest of the blade. And then we're going to make sure it's. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to take calipers or anything. I just want to make sure it's uh, kind of uniform all the way down the blade. That way, when I do harden it, it shouldn't go too wonky on me. Alright. Bug. Looks pretty good. Just have to. There. You know, that's not too bad. It's a little bit crock eyed now, but we're going to have to straighten it again. And then I think what I'm going to do is curve the handle around this horn, give it a little indent. Should be okay, I don't know, we'll see. This should be interesting, Let's see what happens. Probably right about there. I think one more, one more go at that end then would probably be good. You can see how it is. Maybe you can't. Yeah, see that? It's a little hot. Yeah, right there. One more and I think we probably have it. I don't know, maybe I won't. Let's see here. Let's just see what happens when I straighten this out. It's kind of boomerangy now. Just straighten it out. I'm just going to take it, we're going to straighten it, we're just going to hammer down in here, thin it down and draw it out just a little bit, then we'll cut the end off and finish the handle. Probably do that in another video, but right now we're just going to work on that. Oh, there goes the placeholder, oh well. We're just going to work on that and uh, get to it. Yeah, we're just gonna make it like my hand width a little bit longer. Call it a day for today. Just wanna make everything nice and even. That's why I brought out the bigger hammer. It should keep it smoother. This is 
what I'm going for. See how it gets wider at the base right here? That'll help it from slipping out of my hand when I'm swinging it, or wherever buys it swings it. Uh, and we're almost ready to rock and roll right here. So I'll just have to, probably another couple of heats, and we'll have this done, and then I'll be able to start grinding on it. Shabby at all. All right. Now what we're end up, gonna end up doing is I'm probably gonna do one more heat before I just kind of flatten this out. I don't want it that thick. And then what I'll do is uh, let her cool down cut this off around here, make it kind of roundish, and then we'll take it to the grinders. Alright, one more heat. Let's do it and get her done with. Alright. straight it looks like it's good to rock and roll all right so there we go that's gonna be the knife in a nutshell I'm gonna grind in here make that nice and smooth we're gonna clean up the profile then we're gonna cut I don't know two or three inches off of that to make the handle and then we'll grind the handle in a little bit to make it you know, more ergonomical. But there we go. Pry bar knife, just about done here. It's done for day one. There. And now you can see it better. What was I thinking, huh? That's what it's gonna be like. Just need some grinding. I'm gonna punch some holes. Probably two or three holes in it for handle scales. But that's what we're gonna do. Right, there we go. That's what it looks like cut off. We're just gonna round it out and uh, call it a day. try and take this and I'm going to add a little more indent in here with a hand file so you'll see that coming up uh, in video number two I'm just too tired to do it today and then I'm going to start cleaning up the blade a little bit see if I can grind some of this scale off and then we'll heat treat it so far I mean it's a hefty blade it goes from about quarter inch thick right here and it tapers down to maybe a, an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch 
at the tip. It'll be even it'll be even thinner once everything is uh, ground. But that's what the handle's going to be like. It's going to fit just like that in my hand. That uh, point right here will go right between my middle finger and my ring finger. So it should fit pretty well. And then it'll be even better once I take the file and make this a little bit of a deeper groove. I might be, might even be able to put a finger guard in there. But right now what I'm thinking is this will be used for, uh, you know, like a, well, it's awful hefty for a skinning knife. But we'll figure something out with it. It's just for fun. We'll see what's up in video number two. Thank you guys for watching and go out and do something cool.